Hi, this is Sarah Burr with TechCrunch, and I'm here with Beth Troutman from Right This Minute. Hi. Hey, hey Beth. Uh, so tell me a little bit about Right This Minute for those who are unfamiliar uh, with the show, who maybe don't have a television? Well, you can watch it online, but everybody needs to know about Right This Minute. It's all about videos before they go viral. I mean, that's what's popular right now. Everybody is sharing online content and videos, and we go out and find the best videos of the day, mm -hmm put them all in one place, our television show, which you can also watch at writethisminute.com mm -hmm. if you don't have a television. <laughs> but we take it a step further. We don't just watch videos and talk a little bit about them or make fun of videos. We actually track down the people behind the videos and find out what happened before that camera started rolling or after that camera stopped rolling. We get the stories uh -huh. behind the video. So you're getting the video itself, which is always entertaining, but you're getting a lot of information as well. And we like to call that kind of a social currency because people share videos on Facebook through, through websites and if you have that extra bit of information, you're somehow a little bit cooler. You're, you're ahead of the game and you can provide a little more information to your friends and say, well, yeah, I saw that video. What, this is what I find interesting about this show is that, uh, you know, people have been using YouTube or sharing video for a while, but this is a, an actual show just about video, found video. Yeah. And it's, uh, it's, it's on a couple of different uh, local channels. It's on HLN. It's where is it actually broadcast? We're actually in 182 markets across the country. We, uh, starting September 8th, we'll cover 91% of the country. Here in San Francisco, we're the number one show across markets. It's also the number one syndic nationally syndicated show right it's now, It's the number right? one new nationally syndicated show across the country because people are hungry for this kind of content. You know, videos are incredibly popular. And Neil just did a study and found out that people are watching videos online, but they're not doing that in place of watching television. They're just consuming more content. So what we're doing mm -hmm. is some of the work for all the people who are out there watching videos to begin with. We bring them all to one place. Mm -hmm. And then again, we give them more information about those videos so that they don't have to you know, go through their news feeds or search website after website. I mean, there are, people are uploading about 100 hours worth of video content per minute right per now. Per minute. Per minute right yeah. now. So it's pretty remarkable that that anybody's able to find any videos, period, but we have an entire team and that's all they do, pretty much 24 hours a day, so we're doing the work for everybody else. Yeah, so how do you find these videos? I mean, do you, uh, are people just sending them into you or? That happens. Uh, people can go to writethisminute.com and upload their videos. They can also share their videos with us on Facebook. We have an app, a Write This Minute app, where people can upload their videos and send us videos. Our producers check those every single day for great video content, but we can't give away all of our secrets, but we do have a huge team that have their favorite websites that they go to, their favorite chat rooms that they go to, they have their favorite keywords that they type in. And the great thing about this, because we've spent so much time doing it, we've been on the air for three years, we're about mm -hmm. to start season four, we've become experts at this space. So we are able to, we have this great team, people are able to tell now what's going to pop mm -hmm. even before it pops. You, you, ha you get a sense of what's going to go viral when you see it and it only has 25 views or 250 views. You know that within 24, 48 hours, you know mm -hmm. which ones are going to have hundreds of thousands of views. So, I mean, this you're going into your fourth season, but this seems like, uh, for a lot of people, this is a fairly new show. You've expanded like crazy sure. in just the last year. Yeah, we're uh, going to be a strip show now in, uh, it sounds like I'm saying we're going to be a strip tease. We're going to be a show now five days a week in Los Angeles and in New York and in Chicago on the Fox Affair. Mm -hmm. uh, so more people in those markets are going to be familiar big. with this. Yeah, we've yeah. just been on the weekends uh, yeah. in those markets recently, but now they're going to get to see us five days a week. Yeah, well, let's watch some of the videos. Okay. Um, you were telling me a little bit about this guy, uh, a professor. That yeah, he's a professor at Western Kentucky University. His name is John All, mm -hmm. and he was conducting some research in the Himalayas. He was out taking samples on his own, and he fell down in a crevasse. And you pull up the video, it's mm -hmm. jarring. Check out the day that a guy named John All had recently. Oh, I'm pretty little I fell through that hole. Thankfully, I didn't keep falling. Oh my gosh. He actually broke ribs, he dislocated his shoulder, he broke his arm, mm. and he spent the next five hours climbing out of this crevasse on his own. Oh, I can't go that way at all. Gotta stop on this ledge. 
We ended up Skyping with him from his hotel in Kathmandu how did you shortly find, after this happened. How did you find him? How did you find this video? Uh, we found it on Facebook. It turns out that this guy was a friend of a friend of one of our camera guys. Mm. Um, so it ended up being shared through his friend's network. And yeah. before it ever went viral, we pulled it from Facebook, found him, and talked to him about how it was that he crawled out. The biggest problem was because my ribs were so broken, I had to do everything with just my right foot and my left leg and then my left arm. So it probably took me four or five hours to climb out. Shortly after we aired the video and aired the interview, most of the major networks and websites all picked up this video and picked up this story, and many of them picked up our interview as well. Wow, that's incredible. Yeah. Wow, so what's been maybe some of the more interesting videos that you didn't expect? <laughs> there are many, many videos that you don't expect on a daily basis. It's, it's shocking what ends up popping. You know, from, a, from day to day, there are videos that are touching that are incredibly popular. Sometimes it's the really funny video that's incredibly popular. Sometimes it's the fail that's really popular. Sometimes it's social experiments that mm -hmm. are really popular. We had a video that aired on our show today of a social experiment. Uh, a guy was trying to see if anybody would help if they heard a small child locked in the back of a car. He put a, a basically a baby, a baby seat in the back of a car and a speaker that sounded like a crying child. The majority of people didn't stop, didn't notice. Only two people over the course of two days actually stopped to try to help. Of all the people in these parking lots that walked past him, what? only two. So, you know, those kinds of videos are, there are videos out there that make you think, there are videos out there that make you feel, there are videos out there that help raise money for, um, for different causes. Mm -hmm. And we that's the great thing about our show is we feature all of those. Over the course of a day, you're going to have everything from funny to newsworthy to shocking to entertaining. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what really keeps an audience engaged. You have to, to make sure that you are doing all of those things because otherwise, you know, why would they want to, why would they want to, to be with you for a half an hour every right. day or an hour every day? just go to Vimeo or YouTube and... You know, exactly. there's, you're kind of filtering all of that out and finding the best of. So you're going to see the best of the best of everything. Wow. Well, thank you so much for coming to TechCrunch and talking with me today. Oh, absolutely. It's my pleasure.